Now we're going to look at the uh, meal intake tracker. So people, we've talked a little bit about weight loss. And one of the ways to uh, keep track of weight loss is to monitor what they eat. So I designed this meal tracker. You can track all of their meals and what they eat, how often, what they like. And so let's come in and let's say uh, they ate oatmeal. Whoops. Oatmeal this morning. And they ate 50% of that. And they drank milk. And they drank just one eight ounce glass of milk. And then we can save that. All right. Then we're going to, then it's lunch time. We can come back in here and we're going to add lunch. So for lunch, they had some tomato soup and cheese toasties. And let's say that's one of their favorite meals. So let's say they ate 100% of that one and they drank. Uh, they drink a pop with that and an eight ounce. All right, and then let's look at dinner. You can do this after each meal or you can do it at the end of your day. Um, but it's also very helpful when you have helpers coming in and that way you know what they've eaten even though you weren't present. And let's say for dinner, he had meatloaf and mashed potatoes and green beans. All right, and let's say he only ate about 50% uh, of that. And let's do the milk and eight, eight ounce glass. We're gonna come down here now. One of the things that happens as um, with people with dementia is sometimes that their taste buds just completely change. So let's say uh, he, he don't spit out his green beans. He doesn't like green beans anymore. We can put that in the note down here and then we know going forward, not to give them green beans anymore, let's find another vegetable. But this is also another good communication tool for um, the helpers coming in. And I can show you that I also designed this so that when whatever you used will stay in there. So tomorrow, if you come in and you're going to chart breakfast and they had oatmeal again, it's a drop down. It's there you are, type it every time. Each time you add something, it just goes into the little list and you can click on it the next time. So I hope that helps give you a um, good understanding of, of this area and the importance of it. You want to know how much they're eating, how much they're drinking, and um, what they like and what they don't like. And this is the perfect way to keep track of it. The fluids is important because elderly people tend to get dehydrated. And if they're not getting enough fluid, they're really um, at a higher risk for getting um, dehydrated. So this will help you see exactly what they're getting. And it's another one that you can download and send to your doctor or print if you need to. All right, that's it for the meal tracker.